Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to Fly Up. Today we're going to be modifying this here Mirage to have swing wings. So obviously uh, swing wings are quite a famous thing nowadays. You got them on the uh, F-14, you got them on the F-15, there's on the MiG-23, the blah 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 lots of different planes have swing wings but the mirage technically didn't but also did there was a version that had it but i don't think it was mass produced at any point the mirage g if i'm not mistaken but regardless it yeah we're, we're putting swing wings on it because it's cool and i want to this video is a continuation of the last video where i built this thing uh, and you can go and watch that that'll be the top link in the description i suggest you watch that before you watch this because in that video i run through how the engine works uh, how the you know fuel is set up and and blah 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 how the how I built the the core, which I'm going to be building off in this video. So uh, I'm just going to take these wings off, and we're going to start working on a little assembly that we can attach the swinging part of the wing to. Okay, so I've beefed up the actual uh, connection point from the fuselage to the wings, as well as, you can see, we've got these really short, stubby sections, which... I mean, it's not going to be flying with these. <laughs> so what we need to do now is we need to actually put on the joint that's going to rotate the uh, wing section, just the whole wing, basically. Uh, and I think we want to be using one of these swing joints per wing. So I'm just going to start by having these uh, function at all, not uh, designing the wing just yet. So we can kind of get an idea of how this is going to work together, and then uh, eventually we can actually decorate them to look good. So we'll start by putting on these slabs like this. And uh, for the purposes of demonstration, I'm also going to have to put some uh, landing gears on so it can just stay on the runway without falling over. <laughs> okay, so uh, up here in the top left, we've got the settings cog. We want to go into inputs and create a new input. We're going to call it swing wing. And uh, we want to set our range to be something... I think you want this to be degrees, but uh, I will report. <laughs> and then our positive and negative key. In this case, I'm going to use 8 and 7. Uh, no particular reason why. I don't think they're being used by anything else, so that should be fine. And then here, when we select our actual swing joints, we get axis inputs here, so we can set our swing wing to 1, which should mean that now, uh, when we press 8 and 7, this axis makes these uh, joints move, and then we can also adjust the sensitivity to a slightly higher value, and then it'll move a little bit quicker. So, fingers crossed, that should actually work, basically. Okay, so here we are on the runway, and if I press 8, oh, that's bound to dropping that. But the wing is tilting, and so we want to limit it to about an angle of that, to be honest. That's more like 60 degrees. Uh, I don't know where all my sound has gone, but uh, <laughs> yeah, um, that seems to be fine. So now, instead of setting this max to 90, we're going to set it to 60, I reckon. Uh, and when we next go into the actual uh, flight, we should have it set to a reasonable limit. Okay, so now, I mean, that one's going the wrong way, isn't it? <laughs> but, that is our limit, which I reckon is just, just too swept. Uh, let's take it down by like five degrees and uh, also fix that one. And since I'm fairly confident this is going to work, I'm going to do a very little simple design on the wing for now to get the general shape blocked out. Okay, so I have put some very basic wings in. There's definitely some refinement that can happen here. Um, but this would be the non-swept configuration. And uh, I've swept them back just a little bit more than they would have been before. Um, and now they sweep 45 degrees from this point. So in theory, uh, that should give us a kind of nice looking swing wing. <laughs> Okay, so it does sweep just a little bit too much. I think that is about the amount that we would want it to sweep. So that's like a probably 10 degrees less. And then styling-wise, there's definitely some things that can be improved. Okie dokie. So now, in theory, swing wing. 
I mean, that's kind of neat. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, I'd like those tips to kind of... That's not quite what I meant to do. Uh, I'd like those tips not to kind of clip in. So we need them... We need the wing to kind of curve in after a certain point. So let me just do some styling and see if I can work that one out. Et voila! There we go. That's a little bit smoother now. That looks kind of like it's meant to go there. I mean, there's still a little bit of clipping, but I think... For all intents and purposes, that is somewhat realistic, as it could fit in that slot. Obviously, we've got this kind of um, reverse sweep section where the wing sweeps in, and I, I'm sure there's methods to get rid of that, building it like how it is on this tornado, but I'm kind of okay with it, to be honest. I, I've seen jets with wings that kind of do that when they swing, like the, I think the MiG-23 does it a little bit. Obviously slightly different, but I, there's something kind of cool about it, to be honest. So, um, yeah, let's, let's get a tail on this, because obviously we don't have any lift anymore, we'd have an elevator, so we're gonna have to add one of those. Okay, so, that is swing wings added. Elevator added, uh, and in theory, everything else should be unchanged. So if we can get this thing in the air, uh, hopefully we can actually see a difference between the uh, ooh wing unswept and the wing swept. Wow. Okay, that was a little bit aggressive on the whole takeoff there. Um, however. Now, we test our drag, so we're gonna reach a cap at some point with these wings. Now, obviously, they would probably be falling off at this point, or just before, given that we are going above Mac. But, uh, in this game, it's just gonna be the drag that we have to be concerned about, not the actual structural rigidity <laughs> of my airframe, um, which I'm imagining would be quite the problem in real life with this, going at this speed. <laughs> okay, we've roughly evened out on speed. We're not... We're adjusting by kilometer an hour every now and then, but it's nothing significant. So we're going to sweep back the wings now and see if we have any noticeable effect on drag. And already, you can see the speed just begins to climb again right off the bat. And we're already up from 1.22 to 1.29, 1.3. Oh, yeah. That's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Obviously, we still have drag. You know, it, it doesn't get rid of it. But um, And I put the uh, elevators down here to try and avoid the wake of the uh, wings, hopefully, to kind of get them in the airflow. I don't know if that's something that makes sense at all. But, uh, I mean... It kind of looks silly, but also kind of cool in the in the same kind of sentence. Uh, and apparently, what I want here to stop the elevator from locking up so badly at high Mach numbers is uh, pressure damping. So we might just uh, give that a shot, see if we can fix the uh, agility above Mach. Okay, I'm going to keep a little bit of pressure damp on, but in theory, this should now lock up ten times less at high speeds than at low speeds. And one thing we're also going to be able to do is just increase this deflection on this rear tailplane up to like 22 degrees. And now that should help just a little bit more in making this wing really cool. Um, but I'm also going to do just one more thing. And that's, I, I, I want to get missiles back on this thing. And, you know, obviously if I put the missiles directly on the wing, they're going to, they're going to sweep, and the missiles are going to fire outwards. So I'm going to have to do the really cool thing. I'm gonna, Sorry, I'm, I'm super excited for this. Right. Put the joints on. Boom. Swing wing minus one. Inverse version of the wing hinges. And then on these, we go into weapon, and we can put on a hard point. Let's just go with a regular one, not a tall one. That's a little bit over the top. And on those hard points, if we put some sidewinders... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now, in theory, <laughs> in theory, this 
should rotate the missiles exactly at odds with the wings and they should stay completely in line with the fuselage of my aircraft. And so, let's see if this works. I'm so excited. So, if I sweep the wing... Oh, look how cool that is! It just stays perfectly in line as it moves... Oh, that's amazing. Obviously, it is rather close to the fuselage. Probably a little bit close for comfort for the pilot, to be honest. But, oh, that is really cool. Uh, so, let's see if we fix our agility problems. And if we have, I mean, we may as well shoot down some target drones, right? Why else bring missiles? And up into the air we go. And at low speeds, we don't have too many issues. It's not super agile, to be honest. I mean, definitely could be better. I reckon I've moved my center of mass maybe too far rearwards, um, which, or too far forwards, which has kind of made it sluggish in the turn. Mm, oh, we'll fix it. Okay. I've given a, a little bit of a livery, and I've definitely improved the agility. So if I'm just up here at nearly a thousand kilometers an hour, we can now pull 10 Gs with the wings extended. And if I bring them back, obviously we're going to pull a couple less, but hopefully we're still pulling a fair whack. Yeah, I mean, it's nowhere near as many, but like 5 Gs given the speed increase and in real life the ability to go over Mac without ripping your wings off, probably. Uh, I'd say that's kind of worth it. Uh, we do have slight fuel issues, because obviously on the last one we had fuel in the wings. We don't have fuel on the wings yet in this one, but that can all be fixed. Or we can not bother and just pretend it's got more fuel. Uh, for now, though, let's spawn in a target drone and find it. There it is. Oh, goodness me. Okay, uh, extend out the wings. Let's get a little bit more in the way of turning. IR missile engaged and locked in on the target. Space bar to fire and it's locked onto itself. It's got confused. It's got very confused. We're gonna have to do another pass. We fired the missile. Oh, this is a... <laughs> this is a disaster! Oh, this has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Okay, we try again without pressing all of the wrong keys and uh, firing what I think was too late and then it locked onto itself. I, I don't really know. That was a bit odd. Uh, but let us spawn in two target drones. Why not? I missed one last time, so now let's go for two <laughs> and see if we can pull it off. So obviously he's getting away. Let's sweep back the wings and build up a little bit more speed and hopefully... We should be able to snatch this guy before he gets too far out. Let's uh, prepare the infrared lock. And I'm going to launch at about three kilometers, I think, and hope that that's not too far away for the IR to do its magic. Okay. And launch. Don't lock onto yourself. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Splash one target drone, and we have a second one behind us. We've got to get around. Let's just uh, sweep back the wings here. And uh, obviously, we are a little bit unstable now that we've uh, dropped one of our missiles. We've got a little bit too much weight on the uh, right hand side of the aircraft and not enough on the left, so we do have to take that in mind. Here we go. 16 Ks. We'll close that in no time. <laughs> I mean, it really goes, this thing. I think it's slightly quicker when it's in Delta Wing configuration, uh, but, I mean, you can't complain <laughs> when you're going Mach 1.3 near sea level. That's, that's not bad at all. Here we go. We have an IR lock. I'm not confident about the angle, so what we're going to do, we're going to sweep out the wings, and we're going to come around for another pass from another angle, and whoa, that roll rate is aggressive at these kind of speeds. Uh, maybe we need just a little bit more pressure damping on those to keep it under control, uh, but we should have a good target here. I'm going to launch at 2k. It's going good. That looks good. Yeah, there we go. Two kills. 
two missiles, we're going to bring her into land, and hopefully this time we can maintain our fuselage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my landings haven't been spectacular so far, and I'm not convinced that this one will be, given how difficult this thing actually is to fly, but, um, have faith! <laughs> and coming in for landing now, we're going fairly reasonable speeds. We've dropped the drop tank. Uh, just give it a little bit of flare, give it a little bit of trim to make it a little more controllable. We stalled out there. Oh god! And there we go. A perfect landing with... Oh, no brakes again. <laughs> Look, it's fine. We'll just do the old one-two. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah the missile rack can take it. It's fine. Uh, and then we just extend it like nothing ever happened. And we're all good to go. Great. <laughs> all in all, a 100% successful trip. We've shot down two defenseless drones. And now we celebrate with wine, beer, wine, and more beer. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this one. I know I sure did. This is great fun, and hopefully I can put this to good use on some future designs where we can do some things a little bit more wild with this concept. But uh, for now, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, or comment, or subscribe. Any of those things, and I will see you in the future. Goodbye! And as always, a huge thank you to this channel's patrons Badger, Calo, Go Drake, Cam Jam 135, Cody N, DJ Pete, Skavoon, Gun, Master 929, Sad Cat, Yogi 003, Just Casual T6, Sean 1, Last Legend 11, Mark, Modley Invested, Nicholas K, Rollsource, Brocken, Brian, Ryan Brody. <coughs> <coughs>